hello my wonderful and lovely people welcome back to my page in today's video i'll be sharing with you how i make my homemade baked beans if this is your first time of stopping by a very big warm welcome to you please don't forget to follow this page like share and comment to know when i upload a new video to my returning subscribers a very big thank you for this recipe, we are going to be using harico beans, also known as navy beans. It is packed with excellent nutritional values and also supports digestive health. This is the beans you are going to be needing if you want to make big beans. Now, I will go ahead and give it thorough wash. Once I'm done washing the beans, I transfer it into my pressure pot. But if you don't have pressure pot, soak the beans for at least 6 to 8 hours before being used in cooking. This reduces the amount of time when cooking the beans. Cover the pot and let it cook for 50 minutes. Let's check on our beans 50 minutes later. It looks really good now. I'm going to test one to see the tenderness. It is perfect now. So I'll be draining out the water. Please do not throw away the water because we are going to be needing it in this recipe. This is how the beans water looks like. So let me introduce you to the rest of the ingredients. We have the beans water, rice vinegar. You can replace that with your apple cider vinegar. We have brown sugar, salt to taste, tomato ketchup, tomato paste, onion powder, paprika powder, ginger powder, garlic powder. For the thickener, we are going to be using corn starch. We have teriyaki sauce. We have chicken stock. In a clean pot, I'll be adding in all my ingredients, beans water, chicken stock, tomato paste, tomato ketchup, brown sugar, rice vinegar, salt to taste, paprika powder, onions powder, ginger powder, garlic powder. This is how the teriyaki sauce looks like. I'm going to stir everything together until it is nicely dissolved and I will cover up the pot and bring it to a boil. I will be using some of the chicken stock to mix the corn starch. I will add that as a thickener. You can add more or less corn starch depending on how thick you want it. Or you can add it to your desired consistency. Give it a complete stir and set aside. Two minutes later, our sauce is now boiling. To that, I'm adding the beans. I will give it a quick stir to see if I need to add more liquid like our chicken stock, liquid from cooking the beans, even water, okay? The more water you add, the lighter your baked beans will be. The less water, the thicker. I will give it a quick stir, then add in our minced corn starch and give it a complete stir. I went ahead and transferred the beans to my baking pan, then put it in the oven, cover and allow it to bake for like 10 to 15 minutes. But if you are not having oven, do not be discouraged. Feel free to finish up the process on your stove. Let's 
better. Wow, it looks so beautiful. The type of aroma coming out from this kitchen is actually the same aroma with hands baked beans. Now you can call it homemade hands baked beans. Guys, these baked beans tasted so delicious. So tell me in the comment section how you enjoy eating yours. For me, I love them in my Nigeria salad and enjoy eating them with my bread. So in the refrigerator and enjoy. Enjoy with your friends, family, children. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to follow this page, like, share and comment to be notified when i upload a new video thank you so much and remain blessed see you soon on my next video bye